Hi, I'm Pedro Freire. I am the director of After the Party, a short film that has won Best Director in the Tokyo uh, Film Festival recently. And I'm going to answer some questions from the festival. Tell us about yourself. What inspired you to become a filmmaker? Well, um, I was, always wanted to work, since I was a teenager, I wanted to work with actors. I was in love with the idea of directing actors and with being with actors in a rehearsal room, maybe because I am a, a child that comes from um, a house of actors. My father, my mother, my sister were all actors. And so I wanted to be with them. I was too, too timid to, to be an actor, to become an actor. So I wanted to direct them, to be with them in the rehearsal room. So uh, for some time I wanted to be a, a theater director. But then one day when I was 18, uh, I loved cinema very much and I thought, well, I prefer cinema, but I want to be with actors, maybe theater is best. And then one day when I was 18, I saw Faces by John Cassavetes. And that po point was a moment where I decided that I could make cinema and work with, work with actors and I, I wanted to do that. So tell us about your work and the challenge you faced during the production. Uh, so this film, this short film, uh, After the Party, was a, a film inspired by uh, the work of Abbas Kiarostami. I love very much his film um, uh, Copy Conform, uh, I don't know the name in English, uh, Certified Copy. And uh, it's a beautiful film where this couple, they just go through this situation where they are talking, they are getting to know each other and then suddenly it appears that they already know each other for a long time. And I love this idea, this, this positive where something is one thing and then suddenly it turns into another completely different thing in the middle of the film. And I, I had the, the great experience of, uh, of being a student, uh, a student of Abbas Kiarostami just a few months before he passed away. And, and I was in love with the man, the artist, and so I, I wanted to do something that was inspired by this film uh, and, and also kind of an homage to him. So I created this idea of a couple that are inside this apartment and they begin the film uh, not knowing each other and they end the film, you know, already having two, two kids and it appears that it's only one single night. Everything changes without changing the customs or the situations just you know the, the, the relationship changes in one single night and uh, the challenges were well actually we didn't have any money I just called two friends uh, to, to do the camera and the sound a very good friend as an actress and I asked her who did she want to have in it as a, a, a male partner in, in, in in acting and she talked about Scott Shepard and we called him and he came from the United States because he liked the idea and so Marina and Scott were great actors and great partners in the in the crime but we did it in like in three nights with no money just one one camera one sound guy me and the two actors it was amazing it was a very very small crew and very simple way to shoot and to to do cinema and i love that so what wants, what makes you want to tell stories in other words what are the themes issues you want to incorporate in your work well i'm i am always interested in working with actors you know and so uh, it's kind of uh, whatever whatever creates a situation where i where i can create characters that are good for actors to to be inspired for and, and to, to be in a rehearsal room with actors, anything, anything that makes me, that puts me into a rehearsal room with actors or with good actors, a good script and a camera, that's what I'm looking for. I mean, anything. It's just to be with actors working is what really moves, makes me move, you know. So, uh, my vision and method of approaching a new project. Um, well, uh, uh, when I think of a new idea, uh, like for example, right now I am writing my second feature film uh, while I wait for the, my first feature film to be in, in, in time to production. And in this feature I, I had this crazy idea and I am just grabbing new ideas that come and writing them down. You know, I, I write everything that comes. I am like in this constant creative 
brainstorming. I am just watching something TV and then suddenly, oh, that could be interesting. Uh, uh, something that I see gives me some idea that's not exactly what is on screen, but may make it makes me think of something. Then I just write it down. So at the end of a few months, I have like this huge archive with like, I don't know, maybe 10 pages, 15 pages. I, I, once I got up to 30 pages of ideas for a feature film, and then I just, uh, one day I get, you know, full, it's all, all right, it's, it's the time, this is the moment. I don't know why, it just comes the moment where I just close myself in the, in the, in the office and I spend like three days writing, 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 writing everything. I, I, I go through everything that I wrote and I just, okay, this is not good, this is good, this is not good, this is good. So I organize from this 15 pages, maybe it comes down to five pages and then this five pages I work everything that I want to work from there to scenes I create scenes and then after I created all these scenes then I begin to, to I start to, to think about the structure and when I have something that says, resembles a good structure then I go back to each scene and I adapt them to, to to fit the structure. I prefer to think of some scenes, a few uh, iconic scenes before I think of the synopsis and everything. I, I, this is like the last thing of this first part of the process. And then synopsis, synopsis, synopsis a lot. It's a lot of work on the synopsis for it to be like, you know, uh, fit, you know, kind of this is the process. Um, who are your filmmaking influences? Well, uh, the, I, I've told you the, the, the main film for me in the, my life is Faces by John Cassavetes. John Cassavetes is a great inspiration for everything I do, but his film Faces is specifically the, the film that most influenced me in everything I do. I think it has a, a take on the bourgeoisie and the middle class and the, and the, 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 the way it looks at, at human pathetic moments, you know, when we are together and the way it looks at our, our dramas and our funny, the funny way that we uh, have our dramas in our everyday life inside a marriage or with friends. Uh, I don't know, there's something that, that really captures me. I, I've seen this film literally more than 30 times. And, but also I love a lot Abbas Kerostami, um, uh, Kurosawa, Tarkovsky, and in Brazil, Joaquim Pedro de Andrade. These are the guys that I think are, are my like my papas, you know, the my popes in in my religion of cinema. Uh, what advice would you give to aspiring artists? Um, what are some of the things they must follow or avoid? Well, I think the the most important advice I would give to anyone who's beginning in uh, in doing films is forget about the festivals. <laughs> I'm doing I'm saying that to a festival, but um, forget about the festivals. I mean, they are going to come. If you do your work, if you do hard hard work, and you, if you persevere, you are going to go to the festivals. Don't worry. But you don't do a film. You don't make a film thinking, oh, this is a film for Tokyo, this is a film for Cannes, this, this film maybe I can get into Rotterdam or Berlin with this film, it's, you know. If you do that, you are, you are not thinking about the film, you are thinking about the future, you know. Uh, you don't love someone uh, thinking that one day you are going to marry her, you love her now, today, you know, this, today is the moment to love her, not in the day you are going to have kids, you know, now. So do the film now. And then, later, you think about the future. That's my advice. What do you think people like to watch these days? Has the pandemic changed people's taste? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the pandemic could have changed people's taste. But I, I, I do have this feeling that uh, the streamings have, you know, exploded in the pandemic so people has uh, have become more and more you know addicted to being in your house watching something and i'm not sure if that's good to be to be honest because it's too much time in front of, of the tv and i like to think that humanity is not going very well if we don't go out to the nature much more than we do right now you know and as a father of a young kid i i, I really think that's important you know i don't want my kid to spend her childhood in front of of netflix you know i want her to do, go to the to green areas the mountains the lakes you know whatever she can 
whatever nature she can grasp. <laughs> Please tell us about your upcoming projects. Okay, so right now I am um, I am in the middle of the process of uh, finishing my my first feature film screenplay. I have already the funds to do it, to film it, so I am very proud with my crew and my cast and it's amazing people, I'm very very happy. It's a film about Malu, she's a, an unemployed 50 year old actress who is right now depressed, living in, inside a favela, a slum and she's having to deal with her mother who's extremely prejudiced and she, uh, she her mother appears to be a very cute and nice old lady but actually she's racist and prejudiced so it's very difficult to live with her but at the same time all the neighbors love her because the she uh, is apparently very nice and our main character Malu is uh, at the opposite she's a leftist and very liberal and she wants to you know uh, justice to everyone she's a, a, a strong fighter against racism and prejudice but she's becoming bipolar so she's very aggressive and it's very very difficult to deal with her so there is this you know kind of uh, um, of play between who's easy to deal with but has values that we despise and someone who is very difficult to deal with but we kind of ident identify ourselves with her values. This is the game, it's a film about actresses and I'm very happy that I'm going to finally shoot my first film at 41 years old. So. Thank you very much Tokyo Film Festival, International Film Festival to have me and I'd love to be back in a few years with my feature film and some other short films because I don't intend to stop doing short films just because I'm becoming a feature film, film feature filmmaker. I, I love to do short films, I think this is going to keep going on in my life. Bye bye!